Dang, I was hoping not to see that. Now I can't unsee it. Cool, let's go. Let's go. Do you believe in your product, yes or no? Yes. Do you believe in it? Look, dude, do you think people should have dirty ass furniture? No. Nah. Okay, you see that? But whenever it's like selling, we're like, oh, I gotta go sell this guy to buy this, you know, this couch job. Dude, you ain't gotta sell shit. Dude, do the spot test. If it doesn't need anything, then there's nothing to clean. Does that make sense? But what if it does need something? Okay? What if it does need something? What do you do when it needs something? What do you say? Let's clean it. Ugh, dang, I was hoping not to see that. Now I can't unsee it. Cool, let's go. Let's go. Hey, now listen, but what I want to do with him, this is important, okay? Is whatever I get to, whatever I get to hit him with, we hit him with. Now here's the most important thing. Top, top three objections we get, what are they? Cool, ready? Here we go. So it's, 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 he's hit me with the upsell. He's like, Andy, I got the 200, plus we're gonna do the tile, we're gonna do the couch. And we're at that point. And I'm like, hey, I really appreciate it, um, but I gotta talk to my wife, she's not here. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Can we start even a little bit before that? Sure, yeah. Okay, so, all right, so we got a few areas of carpet. Main concerns probably, you said your dog peed over here, right? Yeah. A little bit, how many kids do you have? Three. All right, awesome. Um, which rooms do they, uh, do they mainly stay in? Uh, those three. Okay, awesome. So, oh, so they're even staying in the room where that, where that dog pee? Yeah, he pisses everywhere. <laughs> okay. How often does he do that? Everybody's pissing. Okay. <laughs> How about you? Are you doing it? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> but I was noticing your couch, your couch, well, I don't mind. I'll do a little, little hygiene test on it. Um, just see, see if it's even dirty or not. But how often do you guys watch a lot of TV? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you guys probably spend a lot of time there. Um, let's go ahead. I'll pull the hoses in. We'll get started over there. We gotta let the enzyme sit for a bit. And then I'll come grab you in like maybe five, 10 minutes. Does that okay. sound good? Okay, cool. Let's say he comes and grabs me now, right? And he, and he gives me the information. And then I say, I need to talk to my wife. Okay, yeah, no worries. Um, it, your wife's probably the one that set it up, right? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. That deodorizer product that we use in those rooms, it's, re it's really great. It's a, it's, a, it's a deodorizer and disinfectant. Um, I wouldn't mind, I'll throw that on the sofa for free. Um, did you talk to the office about pricing for the sofa? No. It's probably, probably your wife? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'll go ahead, I'll put that down. Normally sofas, how much do you think it would cost to clean your sofa? I have no idea. Okay. If you were to guess, how much do you think it would cost? Hundred dollars. <laughs> really? How how uh <laughs> how much did you pay for that sofa? Uh three grand. <laughs> okay. So what if I told you it's gonna be a little bit more than a hundred bucks? Um three grand for your sofa, really nice sofa. I wouldn't mind doing it for just two hundred dollars. We've already got the hoses out. That's kind of like the the main thing that is like a little bit annoying to kind of have to pull those in, pull those out. We've already got the hoses in. Um, so how are we going to overcome right? the objection? Though? So that's what I'm I'm softening you up. Super important, guys. If you're watching this video right now and you're like Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Right? Got to train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. Okay, he's, <laughs> he's getting me all soft and shit. But that's a, <laughs> okay. I wouldn't mind knocking that out for just 200 bucks. Um, let's go ahead and get it done today. And that way your wife will be happy. Or hey, watch. So here's what I want you to do. Look, okay. say something simple. Look, we called your wife right now and you told her that we did a spot test on the couch and has tons of dirt on. Do you think she'd say, hey, no babe, keep it dirty. I can't wait to jump on it when I get home. Or do you think she'd say, you better clean that shit up? I'm just asking. No, that's She'd say, question. clean it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what we want to do. We want to move forward. Guys, listen, there's a thing that I use. It's called push through. By the way, getting up here talking, it gives him an opportunity to see how fast his brain works. 
Okay, listen to me. There's two rules that I want to teach you guys about business. Okay, rule number one. Okay, don't ever let anybody else know your business better than you. I need you to understand this. Okay, please get this. I broke the record in the United States for the most money made. I made about 800 grand selling cars when I was 23 years old. I need, I need everybody to understand something real quick, okay? I'm not asking you to be me, but I'm asking you to borrow something from me for real quick, okay? Um, I was the worst salesman in the world. I sucked. Um, I, went, I went into a car dealership. I noticed a lot of people thought they knew it all. Everybody seemed like they knew everything about selling cars. And they were selling about 15 cars a month, okay? I go in, I sell 70 to 80 cars, I dust their fucking asses. You say, well, how does a new guy dust everybody? I'm coachable. Okay, I had a manager who taught me, he goes, listen to me, whatever you think's gonna happen is gonna happen, I just told you guys that, okay? And he goes, push through. Look, sometimes you gotta let people borrow courage. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Like, dude, if this is about throwing stuff in, let me give you this, it's like, now it's like a desperate sell. Does that make sense, though? Does it seem like that? It- yeah, yeah, like, like it's okay. a desperate sell. No, but it's cool, but like, like what we wanna do, guys, like is this shit good for them, yes or no? Yes. Like, would we wanna discount anything that was good for somebody? Like, guys, can you lean into the value for a minute and lean out of the price? Like, like some of you guys lean into price, and when you say the price, like, you're almost, like, a little bit scared. Like, why, why don't we just lean into the value? Say, guys, look, as, as, as expensive as stuff costs nowadays, you can literally have brand new couches, brand new ground top, 650 bucks. Like, I'm going to make this stuff look perfect. By the way, look at me. Okay, you see my hand? Ironclad handshake. When I tell you this stuff's going to be perfect when it's done, it's going to be perfect when it's done. That's my job. Okay, and when I come in here, I know you guys are the homeowners. So when you see it dirty, it's got to be upsetting to you. What am I doing? I'm framing you. I'm saying when you guys, you know, when I come into your home and I see that it's dirty, it's got to be upsetting to you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because it bothers me, right? Dude, when I walk in here, I know what I can and can't do. And when I see this floor, I want to get down and start cleaning it right now. Like, that's what I want to do. Now, I don't know anything about your wife because she's not here with you, but I'm guessing she probably is a clean freak. She probably doesn't like dirt on the... On the uh, on the floor. If she came in right now and there was food all over the, the, the tabletop, she'd probably wipe it off. Am I right? I mean, who wouldn't, right? Dude, right now, I'm telling you, that couch with the spot test we just did, that's going to be cleaned. It's done. It's going to be perfect. When she comes in, she's going to be like, oh, is that the couch? When she says that, you're the one that said yes, so she can have that clean couch. Sometimes we forget that we have to maintain things. We don't change the oil in the car, it eventually becomes an old car. If we don't watch the car, it eventually doesn't look like the new car anymore. This house is probably one of the biggest things that you pay for. Whether you rent it, your rent's more expensive than your car payment, and you wash your car, but you don't wash your house. Guys, I need you to understand something, okay? Especially since COVID, dirt, debris, all the things that we find, bacteria, viruses. I don't know how often you guys get sick, but I'm telling you, it's all laying in all this. I'm going to take care of all of it. We're going to clean it out. That's what we do. We're clean freaks. I geek out on this stuff. you got to let people know you geek out of this. And why would you want to listen to me right now? Because I was a freaking car salesman who went in and the top guy was making 100 and I went to making 800 grand. I ate X the top guy's ass. How did I do that as a kid? You know how I did it? I was willing to change. Okay? Mm -hmm. See your posture? See the way that you believe? I'm not shaky. I'm not scared. I own this house. I need you to understand this. Are you an introvert? Are you shy? You sure? Do you own the home? Okay, come here. Let's borrow you for a minute. I like watching, no, did you see him talk? Did you see how fast he was shooting his gun? Me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. and that's. <laughs> no, 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 but no, but, I, sure. but no, but no, but, that is good. But I like I, I, I like talking little, to him. I get a little juiced up. No, because but but he <laughs> he's like he's like about to eat his his <laughs> lip off. But my point is is that why do I get him up here? Because I want to see him operate. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I want to see you operate. By the way, listen. Any of you that want to be great, you know how you become great right here in the middle. Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true point zero 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 one percenters. Look, I know one percenters, it can make it halfway through the video, but make it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I wanna get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I wanna roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link, it says coach with me one-on-one. 
okay? If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast, and I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.